Hello, this will be a relatively shorter video, and we will be focusing on how to find the equations of motion for an Atwood machine using the Lagrangian. So up top we have our equation that we will be using, and on the right we have our Atwood machine. It has two masses, one of mass capital M, one of mass lowercase m, and the pulley is massless. So let's get started with our Lagrangian. So the first thing we need is the kinetic energy. So because the two masses are connected by a string, we know that the velocity of one mass is going to be equal in magnitude to the velocity of the other mass. This makes our kinetic energy equation pretty simple. The kinetic energy of the system is just going to be equal to 1 half capital M x dot squared plus 1 half lowercase m x dot squared. The potential energy is a little bit more difficult. Both masses will have gravitational potential energy and we can actually connect the potential energies of both masses because we know that however much the mass on the right goes down, the mass on the left will go up by that exact same amount. We can consider the middle of the pulley to be where the zero point of our gravitational potential energy is. So the potential energy of our system is going to be equal to negative capital M G X minus lowercase m g times l minus x. So what exactly is l? l is just, in this case, the length of the string. It's a constant. We use it because it makes taking the partials a lot easier, because we know that any derivatives of constants are zero. The reason it works is because we know that whenever the mass on the right is a distance x away from the middle of the pulley, we know that the mass lowercase m is going to be a distance of l minus x away from the middle of the pulley. Then we can just distribute and we will get that u is equal to negative capital M gx minus lowercase m gl plus lowercase m gx. We now have everything we need to form our Lagrangian, and that's going to be equal to 1 half capital M x dot squared plus 1 half lowercase m x dot squared plus capital M g x plus lowercase m g l minus lowercase m g x. Remember that the Lagrangian is the difference between the kinetic and potential energies. The first derivative that we have to take is going to be the partial of the Lagrangian with respect to x. So there is no x in the first, second, or fourth term, which means we could just focus on the other two terms. And we will get that the partial of the Lagrangian with respect to x is equal to m capital M G minus lowercase m G. And this is just equal to G and in parentheses capital M minus lowercase m. Next, we can do the partial of the Lagrangian with respect to x dot. We can use the power rule and from that we know that this is going to be equal to capital M x dot plus lowercase m x dot. Then we can take the time derivative of this, and we will get that that is equal to capital M x double dot plus lowercase m x double dot. After factoring out an x double dot, we get that that is equal to capital M plus lowercase m in parentheses times x double dot. Now using the formula, we can equate the following two expressions and we will get that g times capital M minus lowercase m is equal to x double dot times in parentheses capital M plus lowercase m. Then we can divide both sides of the equation by capital M plus lowercase m, and we get that 
x double dot is equal to g times the fraction capital M minus lowercase m all over capital M plus lowercase m. And this is our final equation. Again, you can replace it with an A if you would like because it represents the acceleration of the system. And we also know that the acceleration of one mass is going to be equal in magnitude to the acceleration of the other. That is it for this video. Uh, stay tuned for next video where we use the Lagrangian to find the equations of motion of a ball rolling down a ramp. Thank you for watching. Bye.